Hello my friends, my name is Sammy Cake and welcome to Vlogmas Day. I'm pretty sad right now, so I might not have as much energy, but some of you may know, I moved house, so I'm living here now. This is not where I'm going to be recording things in the future, this is just a temporary place for now. I'm currently home alone, so... It was a good opportunity to record something a vlog so here i am but i moved house on friday no saturday um it was pretty stressful honestly it was pretty stressful like i was up until about 4am nearly packing stuff up i left it a bit late oops but um i left things late and then i had to wake up at like i was meant to wake up at at 7.30 the next morning, so I had like three hours sleep. But then I did another work up at 8 o'clock, so I fell asleep John. I fell asleep throughout my alarm. It's <laughs> I moved house and it's cool, I'm living with Phil now, this is pretty awesome. Um, we haven't got the new recording setup sorted out quite yet. We nearly have, like, we're going to record it in the garden house at the end of the garden. That's going to be like my new recording place and got loads of like gym equipment in there at the moment so we're getting rid of that and then we'll be able to record there if I get a desk in there which is pretty cool but we had to wait for a little while yeah but I got stuff recorded ahead of time which is quite cool so I got life is trained I've got a couple of my class joy mode which is really cool I really like that series like everyone has been really hyped up about it as well, which is quite cool. And then Tales in the Borderlands, I can't wait to play episode 5, I haven't played episode 5 yet, I really want to play it. Um, yeah, I've got some videos ahead of time, so we'll still be able to upload videos, which is good, but I can't record anything right now until I got that room sorted out. Oh well. <laughs> pizza hut yesterday and it had the crust it was just like cheese and garlic on it it's so good i've got some leftovers so i'm gonna have that in a bit as well it's awesome can't wait because i'm hungry so hungry anyway i'm gonna move on to kitchens because we got quite a few questions this week so i thought it'd be a good idea to do kitchens quite early so if you have a question for me with kitchens use hashtag kitchens in the comments below right there and I'll answer it next time on Vlogmas Day. But let's get started. My computer is here, so I'm going to be reading it from here. The first question is from Sammy, and they ask Will you ever visit other countries like Romania? Currently, I have no plans to do anything like that. I mean, I'm still a small YouTuber, I, don't, I can't like afford to go to other countries. But I would love to. Like travel around a little bit in the future. I think that'd be really cool. I've never really done it by myself before, so be a bit different. But I would love to be able to do stuff like that. It'd be a great opportunity, and I have got plans for it. But it's something I wouldn't like cross off because it'd be really cool to do. So maybe yeah, but it won't be for a long while. To now it won't be for a while. <laughs> Black and Rose says. Welcome to your new place, hope you're loving it, here's a simple one. What's your most anticipated game coming up? Can be in 2016, stay here, delicious Sammy. Uh, the thing is, like, I can't even really think of that many games coming up. I can, but I can't. And I don't know, I don't, I'm not really hyped up for anything. The one game I'm mostly hyped up for is probably Zelda Wii U. That's because I'm a huge Zelda fan. But I haven't even got a clue when that's coming out. They haven't really announced a date properly for that. And it's really annoying because we've been known about it for years. But it, it, they haven't done anything about it really. And I don't know. I'm really looking forward to it. But it's got to be patient really. So yeah, so do we. Don't do remind me. Dark Souls 3. That's another game I'm really looking forward to. Because that looks amazing. Um, in my last vlog, I said I haven't really seen any gameplay of it, but since then I have, and wow, it 
it looks so cool. I love the sound effects in it. I'm, I, I don't know why, but I thought the sound effects were really different this time. They seem more bassier, and I thought it sounded so cool. I loved it. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to Dark Souls 3. Really, really looking forward to it. Next question is from Swag. The anonymous guy goblin. And he says, are you getting a job where you're moving? Also, when you live with Phil and you find out he has a foot fetish, would you let him touch and rub your feet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's your first question. Yeah, I'm going to get a job down here. I've written my CV up, so I'm going to be handing that out tomorrow, hopefully. So hopefully I'll get a job. Someone contact me, hopefully. Maybe. And if, not when, if I find out Phil has a foot fetish, then yes, I will let him rub and touch my feet and stuff. Because it'd be like a free foot massage, so no biggie there. It'd be alright. It'd be cool. Unless I get ticklish. I can get ticklish sometimes. Then I won't like it. I will let him know. But he doesn't have a foot fetish, unfortunately. C4 Saberkin says, if you made a game, what would it be about and what would be in it? Cake is life. Um, I don't know because I've always thought about making games and I keep like changing it. Like sometimes I want to make a horror sort of game. Sometimes I want to make like an inspirational game. Sometimes I want to make a motivational game. Sometimes I want to make an emotional game. I don't know. I've always had these like random ideas. Like I spoke to one of my friends the other day about a sort of game idea and we said that it'd be really cool if like the final boss is in the distance. Like you can see the it's like this big tower thing and you can always see it wherever you are in the game. So you always have the sort of direction that you can go to. And I thought that was like a really cool idea, just so throughout the game you can see your objective really. I don't know, but I thought that was a really cool idea, but that's just an idea for a game, it wasn't like a story for a game. Story wise, maybe like something to do with friends, so I don't know. I would always feel like betrayal, but that's, not, that's negative. I should probably have something more positive like good friends and how they work together and team up and be able to overcome anything because the power of friendship, something cheesy like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what exactly would be in it to be honest. I don't know. I'm very bad at these questions. There's a tower overlooking everything we call. The Loneliest Pickle asks, I really want to start gaming, but what would I need to be a good YouTuber? I'm asking for an Xbox One. I got an Xbox 360. I always play Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, Zombies, The Witcher series, Skyrim, Racing, Hunting, all the ends of indie games. I really would love to do it. I need an Elgato. What else would I need? Thanks. I'm also going to link this question with this because it's quite similar, but Unholy Dark Fawn asks, I mean, as I told you in one of, of Jacksepticeye's comments, I need a lot of work on my YouTube channel with new equipment and everything. I've been at it for a few years and am I about trying to come up with fun and exciting new and old things to show. You, you know what you're doing and your mum and dad should be proud of that every day you put videos out that put smiles on people's faces and change the mood of others. I personally think if you show your mum and dad that you enjoy what you do and so do others, they'll stay for you to keep going. Besides, for this may not be a job, it is better to think of it as a career choice. You don't love a job, you love a career, get them Sammy. Thank you so much, that's really sweet. Like, I would love to tell my mum and dad, but I, I don't know. Uh, I, maybe when, well of course I will, when it gets, like, hits off properly, but we'll see. Thank you so much, like, I don't know, it seems surreal to think that I'm, like, I can make that sort of change to people's lives and make them more happy and everything. It's just, it just seems surreal. I really hope I do do that. I really do hope so. But I try my best. Go get him. Go get him. Ha <laughs> ha. Get my best at doing YouTube. But 
full YouTube channel, if you want to like become something, like make something out of it and become big on it, it's really like, don't, f I don't know, you, it's hard because I want to say don't throw yourself at it, but you should throw yourself at it at the same time. Like, don't waste all your money on it, don't buy all the most expensive equipment straight away. See how it works off. If it gets better, it gets better and people will love you even if you have really bad equipment. The f thing is, people should come to your channel because of personality, not because of quality of videos. That's how I see it. I mean, it may not be the same for everyone, but that's the first thing that you need to like try to aim for, I guess. Just let your personality out there and hopefully people will love you for it. I mean, only recently in the last few months I got a better microphone before I used to use a headset microphone. Um, this time I'm using Phil's camera, which is a really good camera. Before I used to use a webcam to record stuff, like a year ago I used a webcam to record stuff. And it was a bit fiddly at times, but I just did what I could with what I had. And I think when you're starting YouTube that's what you should aim for. Just do what you can with what you've already got. Don't go out there and buy expensive stuff, all the expensive stuff straight away because it might not work out and it just might end up being a waste of money. I think the main issue with people is that they usually like try too hard I guess. They usually end up looking fake and they just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. They try too hard. And then you always see these advertisers on YouTube channels and it's just disgusting, I absolutely hate them. I don't know if anyone else sees them but you see these people who purposely go around to other people's channel and say, oh have a nice day, have a nice day, have a nice day. And it's like they don't even watch the video, they don't comment anything about the video, they just go to the channel. Even when the video is uploaded, they just say have a nice day and I mean it's not that it's not nice for them to wish people have a nice day. But it doesn't feel genuine. It's, there's no purpose behind it and uh, I just don't like those sort of things. So if you're going to start YouTube, please don't stoop down to their levels because it's horrible to see. I'm not giving that much good advice really. I guess it's good to like, game wise, it's good to do a variety of things. Like most bigger YouTubers do a variety of things, and all funny things and funny moments, so like PewDiePie, he plays random games, Jack Up to Kai, Markiplier, they play really random games at times, they're very like short games, you don't, they're not very repetitive I guess, so I guess it really depends, I don't know, because all YouTubers are different, that's the thing, they so don't like follow someone's footsteps usually. I guess they do in some ways but they're all just different. They all have their own personality, they all have their own style and you just gotta make your own personality and style on YouTube. I guess. I don't know. That's pretty bad advice I think. I don't know. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and then I'm going to the next question. Next question from James and he asks, as you finish Tales from the Borderlands will you play the other Borderlands games on this channel? Probably not because they're quite long series um, and they're really like open world. I would prefer if it was more linear games then I would probably do those but Borderlands is quite an uh, open world game so probably not. I mean I've already played Borderlands 2. I've completed that game. I played a little bit of a pre sequel as well with Phil. So, no, I won't be playing any of the Borderlands games on the channel, sorry. This is the last question from Day Screaming. I can't remember, I think I can say names. Hello, I have a couple of questions. Have you ever played any of the games based on the SCP wiki, Container Breach, 082, 082B, etc? And if so, what do you think of them? Also, how long did it take for you, for your channel to start growing? And how did you feel when it did? Also, also, do you have Super Mario Maker? And if so, have you played the levels made by Ross for the game Grumps? Plenty of questions. Um, SCP, I have not played any of those games. I plan not to because I'm not very good with horror games. 
I see Markiplier play a little bit of Wern. I've done original words. But I see Markiplier play a little bit of it and it's just not my sort of thing. I, it's just too scary and it seems very in depth and like there's a deep story to it and I feel like if I play the game I wouldn't do the game justice sort of thing. Like I don't know much about the background story and I don't know, I just still think it'd be very good and plus I'm very bad at horror games. I really just cannot play them for the life of me. Just cannot. So I don't have any plans to play on any channel or to ever play them. Sorry. I'm not too sure how long it took for my channel to start growing really. Um it just gradually grew I guess. It wasn't like I don't know. I really don't know actually. So I got my 200 subscribers in March, so that's after doing it properly for about 3 months, which is pretty crazy in itself. So, actually that is quite quick for a YouTuber to start, like, getting, free, getting 200 subscribers in 3 months from the very start, that's really good. I think, well of course when it happened I was really happy, I was so happy about it, it was amazing, um, it's a surreal, like, Sometimes I get to the point where I just keep looking at my subscribers like, oh my god, I got a new subscriber, I got a new subscriber, I got a new subscriber. And then if I lose them, I'm like, oh, I lost a subscriber. God damn it. Meh. I don't know. I just really feel so happy for each new subscriber I get. Um, I probably don't like announce it much how happy I am whenever I get a new subscriber, but I'm so happy. It's just like, yeah, new subscriber. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... It's amazing how much the channel has grown. So thank you so much everyone just for helping to make this channel grow as it is. It's just amazing, so thank you. And um, last but not least, no I don't have Super Mario Maker. I want it. I'm tempted to get it, but I'm trying to not get it yet at the moment because I need to be careful for my money since I don't have a job right now. So no I haven't got Super Mario Maker. I want it and I do plan to get it. Eventually. <laughs> anyway, that's it for all these questions for Patreons. If you have a question for me, use hashtag Kate in the comments below. But I'm going to leave this video here of Vlogmas Day. I've kind of rambled on a bit too much. I'm sorry if I sound a bit tired and quiet and funny. I'm just really tired right now. I haven't got a clue why. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it's a great picture. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. But my social media is down there, right there. And that's it for this video of Vlogmas Day. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll keep that there. sleep and I need pizza I'm gonna have some pizza now bye end it <laughs>